Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to our Let's Play series posted on the official PC Building Simulator YouTube page. Anyway, in the previous episode, we started getting into the recommended specs. So we started to check if the PCs that were being assigned to us, that we were fixing, were compatible and were good enough for the games that they wanted to play. In particular, this guy here wanted to play Sail Away, the sailing simulator, and uh, the minimum specs he does meet so he can play, but not the recommended specs. So here, we need to give him a video card with 4 gig VRAM to meet that criteria. And I think we have that already ordered from the last episode, if I remember correctly. So let's turn that off, his PC. Let's go and start unboxing here. Uh, not really, huh? We do have a um, RAM here, eight gig of RAM and one terabyte of hard drive. I think that's for these two PCs. But the graphics card itself? Oh crap! I don't think I bought it. Okay, so let's see. This is the guy. Recommended specs. We need something. Budget is three hundred fifty. And he needs something with 4 gig RAM in there. Okay, let's buy that first so we don't forget. Let's put that in the list already. So 350 is the budget. Um, can we up, uh, sort that by price ascending? Okay, let's get him the most expensive one that he can afford. Let me double check. Budget is 350. Okay, good. 350 is right here. Oh, actually, top of the line, GTX 980, VRAM is 4 gig. That is perfect for his needs. I think he'll be happy with that. But in terms of wattage, so in terms of VRAM, he can do that. In terms of wattage, 165 watts. He has a Sheen Power King 600. That should be more than enough. Yeah, that should be more than enough. So, uh, PSE shouldn't be a problem in there. Let's go and add that. We do have enough money? Oh, barely. 678 bucks. <laughs> what did we do? Why did we lose money? I forgot. <laughs> anyway, alright, let's line that up. And uh, we'll order that later because there are other options here. Other upgrade works that are pending. So let's leave that as is. Let's pick this up first. Let me place that uh, somewhere here for now. Okay. And uh, this one... Okay, we need to upgrade the RAM and there's a deadline. We need to finish by tomorrow, right? So let's double check if there are any secret uh, sneaker requirements in there. And let me double check my notes. 8 gig RAM, clean PC. Oh, this is the one. Yes, perfect. So that's uh, Kerry Doyle here. Yes. So I did take some notes in the last episode by 8 gig. We, we bought that already. That's the one we unboxed. Clean the PC and finish by the 12th which is right now that's tomorrow okay so that's the hidden requirement and yes it does look like his pc is a bit filthy can do a bit of spraying so we'll do just that uh, i think that would be this one compressed air yes exactly very nice cooler this guy has pretty beefy cooler on the cpu it's be nice so the cpu can stretch its legs more looking good looking better and better by the second is that clean enough let's give it a few more seconds just in case we missed some specs in there looking good right there all right perfect so now let's upgrade the ram how did they even manage to fit in the module in there that is tricky, goodness. Okay. Yeah, you can see that the RAM slot he has is right underneath the CPU cooler. It barely fit in. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put in the proper spot here. Should be one space apart normally. Depending on your motherboard, but that's the general uh, norm. So let's put in the memory we have, which is the exact model that he has right there. So that should be pretty compatible. There you go. Upgrade has been done. 
can power that on and now while that's booting up let's go back and install that in there we go it can boot up perfect awesome all right place in the delivery area good easy peasy all right let's plop that there let's double check that we didn't miss anything in here so uh 16 gig of ram done by that team group fanboy okay so we did get that same brand and seems a bit dusty okay so we have everything collect there we go five stars because we satisfied even the hidden requirements awesome all right it's going to help a bit with our shopping later all right next up on the list uh, it's uh, blake patter he does like to chatter Oh, that actually rhymed <laughs> all right so here basically i don't think we have any other uh, requirement we just need to add one gig or one terabyte rather of hard drive space for all his video card for all his uh, gpu or video editing needs so let's open the case up here i think we'll need to open up the other side as well though somewhere along here there we go how is the situation right now in terms of pc parts availability in real life i think it's still a problem isn't it hmm, uh, thankfully we have pc building sim to satisfy that uh, itch of upgrading in the meantime open the drive bay plop down the hard drive there you go and then install the cable for the sata should be on the motherboard right there uh, normally there are advisable areas where you install that that also would be specified in the manual but in our case i don't think it's that particular um, just put that in plug that in there perfect good push that back in if we can uh, there okay looking good can you boot up now Thankfully, we had that upgrade already with the cables. So the cables are automatically attached to these ones, the power cables, the display. So we just need to press the power button and it takes care of it for us. Very nice. Quality of life improvement. Easier to upgrade more PCs in parallel. There we go. Looking good. Awesome. All right. So that's done. Let's check here. Yeah, that screen. Let me see if there's any secret requirement. I hope not. There we go. Easy peasy. Discard. Awesome. All right. So the sale guy, we have the GPU already in the cart. Let's see this guy. Upgrade to the CPU. Intel parts are really good. It's urgent. So hurry. Okay. So we need to focus on that. Uh, let's see. Who's this guy? Let me put in, can we change the window size? No, we cannot. Okay, fine. This is J.Bront. Uh huh. Up, CPU upgrade. Intel. 400 budget. Okay, it's urgent, so hurry. No, no other requirements, so just the CPU. What does he have right now? An i7 6700, so we have to make sure that the motherboard he has is compatible with the CPU that we'll be buying. It's an Mortoni H170 MTech Plus. Okay. Mortoni H170 H170 MTech Plus. So that's the guy. So the socket is LGA1151, a Skylake. CPU is what we should be buying. So if we look for CPUs here, uh, let me see. Is it possible to say intel yes so those are skylake lga 1151 and he has a 400 dollar budget so let's go and see what he can afford wow this guy can really top it up well the only one i have is a 6700k he already has a 6700 i don't think that's going to be much of a boost to be honest well i guess at least he can overclock or something but not the best upgrade to the cpu well technically that is an upgrade 
and that's the best we can offer it is a 200 megahertz update upgrade bigger wattage um, I'm not sure if it can handle that 300 PSU 300 watt PSU can handle it but we can try okay that's the best we can do so give add that in all right and then this guy what is this upgrade graphics card things aren't working fast enough up to my high standards can you do something about that okay we have another er, everything is urgent isn't it such is the way in real life as well <laughs> everyone is saying everything is urgent graphics card isn't up to your high standards okay gpu upgrade budget is uh, 600 uh-huh and sometimes runs a bit slow so maybe an antivirus or a uh, uh, dust cleaning clean pc or clean pc that's the hidden requirement can you do something about that okay upgrade graphics card there is no specific requirement he does have a 970 gamer xl but we can see if what we can buy for him top of the line gpu so in terms of price that will be this guy again a 980 that is technically an upgrade true especially if he has a gtx 970 gamer xl 970 gamer xl is this one core frequency yeah it's a bit lower not that big though wattage is a bit higher yeah i guess that can work that can work 980 we still have a bit of money uh urgent upgrades <laughs> why is everything urgent <laughs> these guys are relentless new parts thank you flight simulator wow one sec, I think we need to. Anything? I think we need to max this guy out. <laughs> nah, um, we shouldn't be biased. Even though I'm a huge flight simulator fan, need to prioritize these guys. Okay, let's accept that just to get his PC in, so we can analyze it better. And this one as well. Let's accept that, but let's not work on them yet. We do have a bit of time for it, so I think in the meantime, we'll uh, order out those things that we've uh, lined up. Two GTX 980s and an i7-6700K by now. Next day delivery. Looking good, and we have a tad of money left over. Awesome. Alright, let's go and shut down. Wait till the next day. Looks good. This guy will have to wait for his GPU. Okay. Alright. Uh huh. End the day. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. You will see. Yeah, there we go. Nice delivery. So let's make this the first priority. This guy with a sail away kind of thing. Yes. Why, do it, why does everyone have the same set of casing? Well, I'm sure later on, as we level up, as we get higher spec PCs, we should be able to... One second, huh? We should be able to see more uh, modern and actual real life, real brands, real brand cases. Okay, let's put in a 980 in there, but we'd need to unscrew one more thing, like there. Remove that as well, it's a two-slot GPU. There we go, fits his casing perfectly. I don't think there were any other parts in there. PC can boot to OS. Now why is that not working? Oh crap. Did I miss something? Missing cable. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. My bad. Got to a bit a bit too excited there. We actually need because it's a beefier, bigger GPU, it actually requires extra power. So it cannot just feed off the power from the motherboard. It needs to have 
dedicated power directly from the PSU and that means some cables need to be attached directly to the PSU, actually two of them, two 8-pin ones, something along those lines, there we go, PC can boot to OS, let's wait for that, there we go, now he's a happy bunny, alright, rich at sailingmyboat.nl I think I mentioned that already in the previous episode. This guy is a huge sailing simulator fan. Alright. Looking great there. Let's power on my PC here. Let's make sure that we didn't miss anything on that end. Ooh. Business is good. Alright, sailing my boat. Will it run? Frame rate drops, uh, yes, that should be good enough. Uh, incomplete case, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the thing at the back, because we... I think there was a... Uh, yeah, th this one, this cover right here. Can we just plop that in? There you go, perfect. Awesome. Alright. Now that should work. Yes, collect. Five stars, awesome. 490 labor is 140. Perfect. Okay. We still have some time. We can work on some stuff. Flight simulator, am I biased? Of course I am. But uh, we don't really have enough of um, info on it. <laughs> we should be prioritizing this. But that's still in 11 days. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with the flight simulator guy. All right, let's see. Where is that one? Flight simulator, this guy, David Wilde, right? Yes. Let's open our notes here. So David Wilde. I should also clean up my notes at one point. I'll do that offline. Okay, flight simulator. This is our kind of guy. All right, PC can play flight simulator. Uh, plastic white cables okay plastic white cables worry about used parts so no used parts all new okay budget is 600 flight simulator uh, recommended spec should be 600 dollar budget sounds good okay so first and foremost, what we can do is we can plop in that USB drive, power it on, and we'll install the Will It Run app for him so we know exactly what he needs. Uh, let's see, add remove, Will It Run, there you go, okay, let's see, hmm, looking good there. All right. Yes, restart. Oh, I remember. Wasn't there a... Uh, did I forget something, guys? This Jay Bront. Why didn't he... Oh, he didn't accept it. Dang it. Ah. Okay. No, no worries. We'll worry about that later. This one I didn't accept as well. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, yes crap <laughs> sometimes you mess up okay it's okay it's not uh, urgent so it just shows my bias towards flight simulator <laughs> needing this as the priority <clears throat> okay everything looks to be good on his end for recommended spec the only thing he's missing really is a decent video card storage ram everything is good okay so he has a $600 budget, budget, so we can actually buy him the top of the line, a 980 is the minimum. So he has a GTX 980 minimum. That's the only thing he needs. So if you look at the shop, GPU, uh, he does have a $600 budget. We can get him the 980 Gamer XL, 165 watts. Let's go and line that up right yes that's perfect now in terms of specs what does he have let's see is it possible to see that here 
600 remaining. Um, well, I guess I could see that in here. If I remove the case, I should be able to see what kind of PSU he has. Or I could have just looked at the email. Ah, oh, it's okay. Ah, oh, Sheen Power King 300. Dang it, I don't think that will work. That might not be enough for him. But he, do ha he does have a... Uh, let me see. Right now, the flight simulator guy, I think it's David Wild here. Yeah, he has a 300. He has a 1050 Ti. Well, we can try. He's not in a rush, so we'll try to replace the GPU. And if the PSU doesn't uh, enough, isn't enough for it, then we'll buy him a new one. I mean, he's not in a rush anyway. Just have to be very careful about that. Okay looking good and yes business is good uh, the two guys that i bought the parts for unfortunately i did not accept the job that's a big boo-boo so uh, notes for next time uh, in addition to writing down notes make sure you accept the job yeah these two guys uh, so anyway we'll continue that next episode but Things are taking shape guys. Things are taking shape. Two and a half stars right now in the rating. If you look at the upper right corner. All the business coming in. All the... Yeah, look at this. I think we'll need a second desk soon. But we'll need more money first because that one is worth 1.5. Yeah, plenty of money needed. But things are taking shape. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Surely love playing this. And hopefully eventually we can replace this one. Hmm. Clumsy's hot repairs. Clumsy's chill repairs. I think I like the sound of that more. Anyway, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next episode, okay? And uh, Clumsy Building. Bye-bye.